Yeah, but it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're when you're 102, when you're going to 105, <laughs> I, that's, that's a little different than going from 203 to 206, right? So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how she fares in this. Wendy Rodriguez only lost twice in her career. Of course, Holly's only lost four times in 22 fights. It should be interesting indeed. When we come back, we will have the co-main event as Holly Dunaway gets set to take on Wendy Rodriguez as we continue on Battle of the Bakes 3, brought to you by East One. She is wearing the blue and white outfit this evening. She weighed in at 105 pounds. Tornado Rodriguez. 6-0-2 in title fights. And, this, ho and Holly's last four fights have gone the distance. All have been decisions. Yep. One thing we need to really look at real strong, a couple of things, is Wendy's been sparring and training, and it really shouldn't affect me at all. That was a very response to me earlier today. I thought that Holly Dunaway won that first round, however. How did you score it? Looked very close. I had no doubt about it. Winding down round number three between these two young ladies. Ooh, Ooh, nice right there by Holly Dunaway. She scores big, and you can see the left eye swollen on Wendy. Long right hand by, by Holly. It seemed to catch Wendy a little bit by surprise. Maybe her timing is a little off from being out of the ring, a little ring rust. But oh my God. Wendy Rodriguez's uh, left side of her face there and her eye. She said she's been, been showing it been the difference. However, there's another one there. Wendy, Wendy's Wendy starts well. Yep. Wendy's doing a little comeback here in this yep. round. She needs to. By Holly. Whitey down here in the fourth round oh, of eight. Wow. Nice right. Holly trying to work that uppercut with her left. You know, Holly's almost looking like the tornado herself. Yeah. I think you're exactly right, Jack. The other girl's got the tornado name, and this Holly Dunaway, maybe she needs to uh, to add another nick. This, she does. She's put together. She really is. Windy down this fifth round between Dunaway and Rodriguez. There goes Holly after Rodriguez once again. And, and Holly, each round, really goes after yep. her in those last ten seconds. Well, according to my son, he looked through five rounds, and Holly still looks very strong on her feet. And if Wendy doesn't score a knockdown or something. Holly Dunaway, Wendy Rodriguez here in our fifth fight. Round six of eight between these two young ladies. Non-title fight between these two young ladies who hold five different belts amongst them both. Dunaway definitely looking like the stronger fighter here as we edge closer and closer towards round number. Remember the last two rounds, Jack? Or is she well, maybe some of that round? ring rust is starting to fall off a little bit. Now yeah. she's feeling more comfortable under the lights and around the crowd. Holly really hasn't worked on that uh, right eye that was swollen earlier in this match between these two young ladies. She hasn't really been landing that left hook or, uh -uh. or, or landing the jab like she should. But as you can see, when Ooh. Holly moves forward, she's definitely the best way to her, for her to fight. There's Tag. a nice connection on that left there, H. Yep, tagged her there. and She's got her in the got corner. The she ropes. hasn't been able to get out in the last seconds of this oh, wow. seventh round of the eight-round fight. Oh, hot stuff. Holly Dunaway. What a thing. Strong combo Ooh, there. Good combination. That left hook starting to work for. Uh, we're down to the last eight seconds of the fight. Three. Crystal. She wins. 